place for Bob Elliott. Bob Elliott sent it down, not only broke the front axle, but also he blew that left front tire. We can hear that left front tire crack as he set it down. Tough break for Bob Elliott. Les, this is ex a perfect example of what you've got to have your tractor properly balanced. Now, the drivers want to put as much weight on the rear end to get traction, but if you don't have weight out there on the front end to hold that front end down so you can drive and steer, you're going to have accidents like that. Bob Elliott, you got to be disappointed because it looked like just driver error off the line. What happened? Well, the track has changed a whole lot. That's back here in the pit trying to get this thing up there on line. I think the last three or four tractors, it took a lot more weight on Richards, you know, we had a lot drier track when we started, and this thing of moisture's come up. And, yeah, it was error on my part. I misjudged it. Old Red and John Heilman are on the line. Don't let the three engines fool you. This is a team that has the power and driver skill to go all the way. with a chance to equal Dave Banner's full pull is Pat Friels and the Dollar Devil. This is a machine with the power to do it. Notice the five-engine design. It features two engines mounted transversely toward the rear between the second and fifth engine. This is a high-tech ride with all the latest embellishments. It looks good, it sounds good, but the proof is always in the pulling. Let's see if Pat Friels can send this one to the pull-off. Dave Banner wins it with his full pull in Banner Brown. Oh, it sure is. You know, me and Leo's running real tight in the points, and uh, uh, I had to stay real close to him or get ahead of him to, to even have a chance to uh, pick up and, uh, the Red Man money. So uh, I, I really had to do the best I could do here. You're tickled, I believe, because uh, you didn't do so well with the blue tractor, Mr. Chevy, but you came back, and the brown tractor, which hasn't run as well this year, really performed top notch. Well, that brown one is always capable of doing it. It's just uh, we've been having one thing after another going wrong with it, and. Uh, we was losing motors there for a while, and we was robbing off the vent to keep the Chevy going, and uh, uh, I finally got everything back to par on it, and uh, it showed me that it's still capable of doing what it's supposed to do. I tell you, we congratulate you, and good luck on your next event. Thank you very much, Dave. I, I really appreciate it. All right, Dave Banner wins it here at the Budweiser New York State Fair Tractor and Truck Bowl, a superb pull, the only full pull of the class. The pursuit of power continues in January on Power Tracks with the Redman TNT All American Pulling Series. See your favorite pullers plus Bigfoot, Stomper, and the country's hottest monster trucks in daring and unpredictable drag racing style eliminations. Coming up in January on Power Tracks here on ESPN. January also kicks off the 1988 TNT Redman Winter Nationals. The action begins in St. Paul, Minnesota, Biloxi, Mississippi, Charleston, West Virginia, and Daytona Beach, Florida. Then moves on to Atlanta, Georgia, Indianapolis, Indiana for the Indy Super Bowl, Roanoke, Virginia, and Tallahassee, Florida. Four big events the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th of January at Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Memphis, Tennessee, Salisbury, Maryland, and San Antonio, Texas. Finally, January action wraps up in Little Rock, Arkansas, the 29th, 30th, and 31st. It's all coming away in January with the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series. 
Now we go to the pull-off in the Mini Modified. We've got the top five tractors in America pulling it off here on this 300-foot clay course. They'll add more weight to the weight transfer machine, maybe kick it in a higher gear, whatever it takes to bring the weight up on them faster. These guys will let it all hang out. They won't worry about the boundary lines because in a pull-off, you go for broke. And that's exactly what they're going to do. 15 to 1,700 supercharged alcohol-burning horsepower and about a 1,200-pound chassis. It'll be wild. First up is Glenn Gunther. The minis indeed are known for their wild rides. It can be hard to control that much power on such a light frame. Richard Peters is the next mini puller up. This class has its origins in the common everyday garden tractor. But these supercharged little guys are a far cry from their ancestors. These are expensive, custom built machines with the latest power modifications. Peters training against the sled on that run. They've really got it geared down for this five-man pull-off. Watch Peters' frame twisting under the weight of the big supercharged motor. You gotta be pretty happy with your run when you come up a little short. What happened? Uh, I thought I'd try the high side and try to come down, but I don't believe it's the best part, so yeah, that's the gamble I took. The frame was really twisting. Is that by design? Yeah, I keep it loose. I don't know, maybe it doesn't help, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you, it's going to put you in number two spot right now with three more to go. Let's hope it holds up. I hope so. Richard Peters out of Farmville, Ohio. Kevin Bultemeyer will be the third contestant in this all-star mini pull-off. These are five of the best mini teams in the country going head-to-head -to -head tonight in Syracuse. Glenn Gunther is still in the lead with 196.3 feet. On the line is Ronald Hoffman. These five mini pros are being put to the test by the reweighted sled. A pull over 200 feet would take this one away. Second place, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Uh, there's some real tough competition here. Brand's a good competitor. Uh, he's got a good chance at it. Brad Shively is the last contestant with a chance to beat out Glenn Gunther's run of 196.3 feet. He has the advantage of having watched all four pullers who went before him. Maybe he's learned the secret of success from their mistakes. Modified 
tonight at 196 feet. Did you think it would hold up? I really didn't know at first, but uh, after it was over with, we were lucky we came out on top. I Looked like a power track tonight all the way. It was. It was good track. That's the kind of track you like to pull on. That's right. All right. The Met Modified won by Glenn Gether from Arkansas.